What's up, guys? Mike Wallace here. And as you guys see, we got ourselves the all-time Giants theme team. We got ourselves Alec Ogletree. We got Keith Bullock, LT, Marcus Golden, Xavier, Mc that? Xavier McKinney. We got ourselves Antonio Bethea, DeAndre Baker, Jason Seahorn. We got ourselves uh, Snacks, Harrison. We got ourselves Leonard Williams, Michael Strahan with James Bradbury. As we got to head to the offense, man. I had to choose. It was either Daniel Jones or Eli Manning. And you guys see the radio. Eli Manning is the guy I'm going with. We got Victor Cruz, Golden Tate, David Tyree, Saquon Barkley, Odell Beckham, Evan Ingram, and the offensive line is what it is. The reason why I went with Eli over Daniel Jones is because Daniel Jones is going to be a man for a while, so we can definitely use him whenever we want to. Plus, I've had gameplay with this card, even though I use Eli as well. But for Eli, this is going to be his last year in Madden, unless he comes back to the legend. But other than that, for like a right with card, this is the last year he's going to be here. Saquon Barkley is just busting it right up the middle. And he's going into the end zone. An easy 75-yard touchdown to make it 7 to nothing. Actually, not crushing. 6 to nothing, so I'm not paying attention. But one thing I want to say quick, though. Um, if you don't follow me on Twitter, my link is in the description below. Um, I was tweeting out before, though, that I was literally, like, doing some annoying shit today. And pretty much it's just that I don't know if I'm going to keep doing the theme today anymore. Only because of two reasons. One, I lost two of them already because I don't know what the heck is going on but i was in the middle of editing well one it was my fault and the other one it won't load for some reason but i had the bills game and that one won't load up for some reason so i lost that one i apparently got rid of it after that because it i keep trying loading it says like the elgato when you're going to edit it keeps saying like one moment and it never loads but i'll click on a different video or something like that and it works i'm the file got corrupted and the other one i had the redskins one i was gonna put that one up for today and i was stupid enough to accidentally delete it because I was in the middle of editing, I wasn't like paying attention, and I accidentally deleted it. So that's my fault. So with that, I would have to do them again, but I already sold the team out. I'm already in the middle of doing the Eagles right now, so that should be up either tomorrow or the next day. But to be honest, I'm not having fun though playing Madden 20 now. I'm not having fun with it because we're in July, right? So in one month, Madden 21 comes out, and I played the Madden 21 beta. Yes. I did get a code. I only played a couple games. And I had no issues when I was playing. I was honestly having a lot of fun. Now, did I notice some of the some other people were saying? No. I'll talk about that in a little bit. But my whole message parents is this. Um, the Redskins game that I was going to upload. And even uh, not this game, though. Because we got our man out of here. Right after this interception by James Bradbury. You'll see more in the next game. That I've never seen somebody run the ball so much than this game because when I play Madden 21 I'm not kidding you guys even though yeah the four teams were what Tom Brady and the Bucks you had Matt Ryan and the Falcons Patrick Mahomes which, by the way 12 years 503 million dollars what that is insane of a contract bro like what anyways and the last one was uh Lamar Jackson and the Ravens now if you're running the ball every play you know what team you're using. If not, you're using, you're using the Ravens about that. That was about a question. But anyways, um, pretty much other than that, I played against some of the, some of the running backs there. I know there were friends like Todd Gurley, Ronald Jones, um, Mark Ingram, slash Lamar Jackson, because people will get to use him with the escape artist. And, oh crap, I'm drawing a for, oh. And freaking uh, Damian Williams or Clyde Edwards. And nobody ran the ball. Like people do in this game honestly i was actually passing the ball around i was actually having more fun now obviously there are some bugs in there though but i didn't notice that many of them like a lot of other people did so i can't sit there and say that there's only one thing i can say that i noticed really or really a couple things i want to talk about that quick the first thing the new pass rush movements i do like it i'm not gonna lie it's a little bit though getting used to because you're so used to like either like spamming x or spamming a or circle whatever for whatever comps you play on and with this one, you have to use the analog. So, for instance, like you want to go up, go over the top, you have to click uh, right on the analog stick. You want to do a straight up bull rush, it's down, like so on and so forth, like that. I like that a bit better though because it makes you do it quick, um, make you think quick. And pretty much with um, the gameplay style with that game on Madden 21, it feels like the game is a bit slower, uh, tuned down, like it's slower. But that's a good thing though. Because we're not doing this. You should see what Walter Payne's doing all day. We're not doing that. Like, it's, it's annoying, you know? 
because I'm sorry, that's not skill. Running the ball every play is not skill. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to anybody who runs the ball all day. I'm, that is not skill. Sorry. It really isn't. Especially in this game, because all you're doing is just running <clears throat> over and over and over and over when you know it's okay. You like at the beginning of the year, okay, fine. You just want to get speed, plus you have a good offensive line, you get some bad people. And yeah, it's going to be good. But anyways, you know on topic. And that's pretty much getting to my other point of why I'm not having fun with Madden 20 because of that. And that's been enough for a while. But I just said, screw this, keep going, keep going. But now, especially when I was playing the Red Skins game, though, like I said before I accidentally deleted it, dude, this guy played ran the ball literally every single freaking play. He passed the ball four times. He passed the ball four times and got one catch, and that was a touchdown because I was coming, I was playing uh, Rice with Ken Houston, and I thought he was going to throw it uh, shorter, so I came down. And I actually left the, uh, Jerry Rice going over the top. I left him open, so that was my own fault. But still, you'll even see in this game, like, yes, I do run the ball. But at least so I mix it up. You guys know until like, yes, I'm going to run it right here. Cool with Saquon. Not really going anywhere. Yeah, it's second down. Like, look at this. I'm going to try it again, though. Yeah, okay. Cool. Because we're in the red zone. Why not? I'm going to Saquon some touches. You know what I mean? So I ran the ball, what, seven times, and that's it? Look, you see, I'm right here, though, at least trying to pass the ball. I'm trying to at least do something. Ooh, nice catch, Tyree. Very nice. But nah, I'm trying though. You know what I'm saying? At least I'm mixing it up. I'm not running every single play like this guy did. But anyways, other than that, Mad 21 Squad though does look good. I just want to see Ultimate Team. I want to see how that is. Because with regular matches, okay, yeah, I can see um, that it's good. But if the rumor is true, pretty much all that, if you don't start with the, the Lamar Jackson you get from getting the MVP edition, you're going to be at a disadvantage. And to me, it depends what you do, though, when you get the game. You're going to be at a disadvantage. Like, say, if you don't have a pack, so day one, right? You're going to be at a disadvantage. If you or the right, get the regular edition and, say, someone else gets the MVP edition, and you play them like that, you're going to be at a disadvantage. Like, it's just like that, though. It's a simple thing. It just depends how you want to approach the game if you're going to be at a disadvantage. I don't blame, like, oh, this guy beat me because he opened $200 worth of pads. He got 99 Tom Brady on the first pack. Like, no, I don't, I don't freaking believe in that. The way I look at it is this. It's how you approach the game and how you play it. If you want to buy packs, go buy packs. Go go nuts. Go spend your mortgage money. Have fun. If you don't want to own packs, don't do it. Go grind solos. You want to get the regular edition? Go get the regular edition. Go ahead. You want to get the MVP edition so you can get uh, Lamar Jackson? Go get it. Whole point, it depends how you approach the game. That's just me. You know what I mean? That's just the way I look at it. But anyways, with saying all that, though, I think I'm done playing Madden 20 because, like I said before, with two of them gone right then I really don't feel like freaking going to get them again. I just have to rebuy them. I just lose more and more coins and more training. And also that um, Madden 21, Madden 20, yeah, Madden 21 comes out in a month. So really, I want that mental break from Madden because this game mentally drains you. It does, especially if you play weekend. I haven't played weekend league. I played me like three games weekend league in the last two weeks. All I want to play now more though is honestly MLB. That's what I'll be trying to put on the channel. Maybe like four or five times a week, I'll try and put up like you like when there's new MLB content, maybe some gameplay. You know what I mean? I want to try and stream it more. Like you know what I mean? Um, but with that, let me know what you guys think of that though, because also next month though, I'm going to get or try not try fail. I'm gonna pre-order 2K21. So when September hits, so we'll be ready for that. Because that's something I definitely want to do. Though. I want to play MLB. I want to play 2K, and I want to play obviously Matt. Because you guys, whoever's coming to my channel, come sit for Matt. But I want to try and mix up a bit though, especially though, I want to learn the new game, those games though, I want to outplay them because they look a lot of fun. Especially like when I'm playing a game like this though in Madden, I'm getting stressed out like, yo, this guy keeps running the balls, we got to fumble, but Walter Jones picks it up. It's like, bro, come on, like, even if I'm struggling like that, I was like, you know what, let me get off the game, take a break, let me go play some MLB, let me go grind some, grind some, uh, some moments or some souls or whatever, you know what I mean, so I get the team up, you get what I'm saying? So... That's something I just plan on doing for the channel right now. So let me know what you guys think of that. If you guys would like to see MLB gameplay. Um, like I said though, I will be streaming a lot more. I want to try and stream either tonight, tomorrow. I might just be doing it Thursday though to be honest. Because Wednesday I think I'm gonna be Yeah, Wednesday I'm gonna be busy though because I have to run a couple errands and then I gotta go to work. But Thursday though, I'm definitely gonna be streaming. So if you guys wanna know about that, that link's in the description below. As around this game though is coming to an end. Can we get a win, though, with Eli Manning playing against the Dallas Cowboys? And now with under two minutes to go, 
Sammy Snow once again, my opponent is running stretch with Walter Payne over and over and over and over again. Like that, that's not even freaking new at this point. But hey, what are you gonna do, man? That's just what this game was. Madden 20 was the D Sings run meta game. That's flat out what it is. So Madden 21, I can't wait because I think it's gonna be a lot better. I really do. I think Madden 20 to be really good. But right here, you see me though. We're trying to get going with Saquon Barkley. See what we can do here. Along with Eli, though, maybe we can get uh, maybe we can get something going with him here as well. I was running the pocket with him, looking around, trying to force in double coverage like an idiot. But hey, what are you gonna do though with that? Bear down, Sam, looking around with Eli, trying to roll out, and that is the most Eli way to lose I've ever seen. A fumble recovery for six, and that is going to do it. But hey, what are you gonna do, man? I really don't care if I win or lose. If I win, it's great. But like I said, it's Madden 20 is practically over, especially with the new power expansions that came out today. So if you guys don't know about that, I did retweet on my Twitter, so I'll leave that link in the description below. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I will upload the Eagles video probably tomorrow or the next day. If you guys did, please do me a favor by leaving a like, subscribe if you want new, turn on the bell so this way you guys know whenever I post a new video. Follow my Twitter. My link will always be in the description below. I hope everybody has a great and safe night because I know this video is up a little bit late, but that's because, like I told you before, I had a couple things I had to do, plus my old guy was being a pain in the ass. I'll be flat on honest, but yeah. Other than that, I'm out, guys. I will catch y'all in tomorrow's video.